It's time for this week's big interview with Dr. David Pinn. My name is Dr. David Pinn. I am the head of the extraterrestrial fauna unit at the European Space Agency, and I'm based here in Frankfurt. Uh, can you just tell us about some of your latest work? I think it might interest some of our listeners. Uh, at the moment, we are trying to establish whether or not we can prove the presence of microbial life on Mars. Have you ever seen a, a hoof print on the surface of Mars? Right, well, well they, I mean, there's a couple of things. That, I mean, we're, we're, not, we're not looking for hoofed animals. This is not a search for extraterrestrial ungulates. So are you um, telling me so, that if you saw evidence of a hoofed animal, you would just disregard it, say, I'm not interested in that? Clearly, if I saw a... An, an, an alpaca on Mars, I would let someone know. But uh, that's, that's Don't not. Don't you think that's that's a kind of um, an example of rather siloed thinking? No, no I think if there, if there were hoofed animals on Mars, we would know about it by now. Let me tell you. Okay, I mean, we, we photographed. Well, it doesn't. Sweat. It doesn't sound like you're looking for them. Is there a chance that when you find, or if you find this this life on another planet, whether it could yield um, a fifth meat? A fifth meat. Yeah, so currently we have the four meats, beef, lamb, pork and chicken. But I wonder whether you could find a fifth meat on a different planet. Micro- if we find lots of microbes, you could probably make some sort of tofu out of them. But we're not looking for a fifth meat. That's not what this is. Okay. okay? I mean, it, let's just say if it were theoretically possible that there were a fifth meat in the universe, what? how do you think that would affect the world of sources? As you can hear, the interview was a humdinger, and so there'll be more from that interview later on in the podcast. <laughs>